Hey there, so I found this bag today. Maximus making objects! It's kind of beaten up, there's a, a tear here, and some of the buttons are missing and stuff. And I started fixing up this bag, I'm turning it into, into a camera bag for the camera that I'm actually filming this on. And I thought I would show you what I'm doing. So I've already added some foam into here and and here but there's still there's no foam in this bit there's there's a lot more work to do so this is the foam that i'm using to fill the bag with it's just it's like mattress foam to go on your bed and i just ripped up a bit of it and i'm going to fill the bag with it so that the camera is nice and soft has a nice nice soft place to live nice soft place to live. So for thread, I'm actually using dental floss. I know that sounds a little weird. I got this tip from a, a train hopper friend of mine who used dental floss for all of his clothing because it's it's covered in wax. So that means that it really doesn't degrade and it, so it's very thin and it's very strong. So dental floss is actually a really superior thread, better than a lot of thread you can buy at a thread store. So that's kind of cool. I filled this strip with foam. I cut a seam in the middle to, to fit the foam in and now I'm sewing that seam up. I've lost my needle. Time lapse time! There, and now that scene is complete. So now I'm going to add some foam to the inside of this side here. You can see that it's just like a thin, thin bit of fabric. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's thicker over here where I've added foam. So I'm going to add foam to here. So to do that, I'm going to cut a little hole right here, and then I'm going to fill it with fabric and then sew it up. So now I've made that cut, and now here's my piece of foam and I'm going to stick it in. I'm sticking the corrugated part of the foam on the inside so that the outside of the bag feels smooth. So now the foam is, is in there nicely and you can see there's this little hole. So I'm gonna seal that up. I can never find my damn needle. There, so now that's all sealed up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is make the bag close. So there are these two long straps that are attached to it. I guess the, the idea is that you're supposed to tie a ribbon or something, but that seems really gratuitous. So I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna fasten a button right here for this ribbon to, to wrap around and then I'm gonna shorten this up. So I'm actually in luck that this is ripped because it'll allow me to make this loop and sew the loop in and then you won't actually see the seam on the outside because when I sew this up, the seam will be hidden. So that's kind of cool. So instead of an actual button, I'm gonna use this little pouch that I found in the parking lot. It's a tiny little leather pouch. I think it's really cute. Inside, there's a there's a secret surprise. It, it says, sisters, sisters. Some, some sister lost her little pouch and I picked it up and I think it's cool. It'll be nice for like holding memory cards and stuff. It's just basically the right size for a button. So I'm gonna attach it really, really well. I mean, this is leather too. So I'll, I'll, I'll loop it through like 10 or 20 times to make sure it's very securely attached to the bag. And then this will, will act as, as my button. So there it is, almost attached. Sometimes you need pliers to pull a needle through leather. This is attached pretty well, so I'm gonna tie off the knots and that'll be that. The next step is to take this and make it into a loop which can wrap around this and keep the bag closed. So I want the loop to be big enough that it can easily fit around here, but tight enough that it you know doesn't come undone. What that means is I want the loop when it's taut, when it's pulled like this, to be longer than the bag so I can slip it over the bag. Just like that. Yep. So that seems about right. So I'm just gonna sew that together. So now I've made a loop and the loop goes around my little pocket button. Now my bag is closed. So that's cool. Closed bag. Doesn't open. So now I have to deal with uh, this thing. Oh, hello! Is it eyes? Oh, hello! I have a puppet. Although that's cute. I, I don't really want a big gaping hole here. I don't want a big gaping hole here, so I'm going to sew that up. Mm -hmm. I sewed this closed. So the last thing to do to the bag is just to snip off this extra ribbon, because I don't need it anymore. So here's the bag. Got straps. It's like a backpack, or like a purse. I prefer to use it like a backpack, I guess, because I'm 
have gender biases against purses, who knows. It's a nice bag, it can hold my charger and my memory cards and my more memory cards and my flash and all that stuff. It seals really nicely. What I think is really cool about this bag is I found all the materials in the trash. I found the bag in the trash, I found the little pouch in a driveway somewhere. The string I was using was dental floss from my bathroom, so all of this was found materials. It took me maybe two hours to reupholster the bag and fix all the things that were wrong with it. And so for two hours of work, I get this really nice camera bag. Camera bags cost like 40, 45 bucks. And this looks a lot nicer than, than any of these like, you know, black canvas camera bags. I think it has a bit more character to it. It's really soft. It's made from velvet and it's all, all found materials. And so it's, you know, taking something out of the garbage and giving it new life, which is a, a really important thing to do. Thank you for watching this video and go make some garbage to craft. And remember that everything and nothing are actually the same thing. Maximus making objects! Maximus making objects. Time lapse time. Time lapse time.